multiple linear regression in R statistics. In this video, I will show you how to perform multiple linear regression uh, in R studio. Multiple linear regression is a parametric test that can be used to find out uh, whether there is a relationship or association between a predictor and an outcome. An outcome is the dependent variable or the response variable and the predictor is the independent variable or the explanatory variable. So the aim of performing multiple linear regression is to determine whether the predictor can predict the predictor or predictors can predict the outcome and whether these predictors contribute to the outcome. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. Here in R Studio, I had imported uh, data for three variables uh, as shown here in the uh, table uh, the age the weight and the systolic blood pressure uh, age is a continuous variable weight is a continuous variable and systolic blood pressure is a continuous variable to find out whether the age and the weight can predict the systolic blood pressure which is an outcome here and the weight and the age is a uh, uh, predictors then linear regression will be performed and since we have more than one predictor then multiple linear regression will be used to find out whether uh, these uh, predictor can predict the outcome and the way to do that in R studio as shown here the data or the table is loaded into R studio and given a uh, uh, an, a name which is MR, M, MLR stands for multiple linear regression. To perform multiple linear regression, we'll use the formula as following. First of all, generate an object. We call it MOD for, for model. In the cursor here, type MOD and then um, use the assignment operator and then use the command for linear regression which is lm open a bracket and inside the bracket type first the outcome and the outcome here is the uh, systolic blood pressure and to select the uh, outcome or the valuable or the data from the table then first of all we need to type the mr mlr which is the object and from that use the dollar sign to select the uh, systolic blood pressure which is an outcome so uh, after the command or the function lm open a bracket and then insert in that bracket first the outcome then the predictor and in the bracket the uh, outcome is systolic blood pressure taken from the table which is mlr then uh, use the title uh, symbol here and then insert after that uh, the predictor age uh, separated by a plus sign for the predictor weight and again to select the variable age type mlr then, assi then the dollar sign to selectively select the variable for age and then select age then add a plus sign and then MLR 
same thing to select the weight variable use the dollar sign and then select the weight variable so this is the command for performing multiple linear regression first of all generate an object give it a name of model mod abbreviated as mod use the assignment operator and then use the function or the command in r studio for linear regression lm lm open a bracket and put in the bracket first the outcome then use the title then the second second after that is the first predictor separated by a plus sign and then the uh, second um, predictor and then close the bracket and uh, select these uh, data or variable from the table using the dollar sign if i hit enter here and then to uh, view the output for the linear regression or multiple linear regression as here we have two predictor and one outcome so it is multiple linear regression type summary and inside the bracket type the name of the object which is the mod for model and then hit enter a uh, output is generated as shown here the residual uh, or residuals are given here for the minimum the uh, first quartile the median the third quartile and the maximum what is important also from here is the coefficient as shown here the intercept the age variable or predictor and the weight predictor and the estimated uh, b value is very important which this one here for the age represent the slope for the age variable and this one for the slope for the weight variable and a p value is determined for the intercept and the two predictors and as shown here the p value is less than 0.05 so this uh, uh, output here shows that uh, uh, the value for the intercept when the age and the weight is equal to zero and uh, the uh, age uh, predictor here the estimate for it shows that for every year one year increase in the age there is an increase of 0.92 in the systolic blood pressure and this is significant as the p-value is less than 0.05 and for the weight with every increase of one kilogram there is an increase of 0.23 uh, uh, measurement in the systolic blood pressure and this is significant as the p-value is less than 0.05 so this uh, output shows that those two uh, predictors have a slope that is significant and can predict the outcome which is the systolic blood pressure as age and weight can contribute uh, to the outcome of systolic blood pressure here the significant codes three stars mean um, less than 0 0.000 and this one two stars less than 0 0.001 and one star 0 0.01 and so on what is important also from this output is the residual standard error which is given here with a degree of freedom and uh, a second important thing is the multiple r squared or adjusted r squared and uh, we'll look at the adjusted r squared because the predictor the age the weight both of them are measured at different scales and this is the value to use and it shows that 58.4 percent of the variation uh, in the outcome in the outcome can be explained by the predictor age and weight uh, and finally at the end here it shows that the model perfectly fit um, and the p-value is less than 0.05 with uh, an f statistics of 70.5
the command or the function for linear regression analysis in uh, RStudio can be uh, written in a different format uh, to avoid using the dollar sign again generate an object call it uh, uh, MOD for model use the assignment operator use the function for linear uh, regression or multiple linear regression um, uh, LM open a bracket uh, LM open a bracket and then in the bracket type data equal to the M LR which is the multiple linear regression file or table then type comma then insert and type the outcome which is the systolic blood pressure so S P P and then use the title uh, as you start first with the outcome then the predictor which is the age and then add the plus sign and then the second predictor which is the weight so this uh, command line is different from the previous one in the way that we don't have to use the dollar sign as we had already uh, defined the data which is the mlr a table uh, stored in the MLR and uh, the multiple linear regression will be performed using the outcome for a uh, systolic blood pressure uh, tidal symbol and then the followed by the first predictor and the second predictor if you hit enter and then type summary uh, again with uh, a bracket uh, insert MOD in the bracket and a uh, uh, output is generated similar to the above with the dollar sign disappearing here so this is the way to perform multiple linear regression in R statistics if you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one to one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one to one uh, tutoring or a training course.